Sweet lover of mine Oh fly on back 
you know, Bob, Bob and I are the rhythm track, that we're just Bob and Julie. But all these wonderful, all these wonderful yes. musicians who hover around Norfolk and London and all sorts of places, they just turn up and they play and they're ten times better than we are and they're just amazing.
massimo San Speriamo che vabbè. This is Mr. Paul Borley on drums. He plays drums with all sorts of lovely people. Mr. John William on the end on his guitar. He plays for Menko, blues guitar, all sorts of things. Lovely Sarah, who plays violin and sings like a bird. There's him, my husband. And um, lovely John Dollery, who plays banjo and uh, harmonica. And they're all very generous with their time and their talent, so thank you very much. This is called The Whole World's Got the Blues. There's blues in all the papers, blues in the magazine. There's blues on the radio and on the TV screen. You know that everywhere you turn, you look and it's sad. This is another homegrown song and it's, um, 
inspired, I don't know if you've got any Peaky Blinders fans in the audience, but I watched that and there was, um, there was a little bit where he um, is standing in his distillery and they're making lots of gin and he said they were making it for incurable sadness. And um, I thought that was quite a statement really. So this song's called Incurable Sadness. So Bob keeps calling it Incredible Sadness. <laughs> We changed this this afternoon. Yeah, I've got all the nuggets. <laughs> not even in there, and not even in the aisle. <laughs> now, Eric Moore. Practice. He was to preview. So decided to change the whole page. Here we go. Dixon, 
There's a lot of um, talk about whether the blues is part of folk music and whether folk music is part of blues. I think it's nonsense. They're all part of folk music, but they're all old traditional songs. It's the other way. And when you look into it, you can actually find links that actually the blues came from Liverpool. And I don't tell me now. I'll talk to you later if you really want to know that. Where's your car then, please? My car then blues came up a slightly different route. Uh, but when it came to doing all the uh, black and white minstrel stuff and everything, it actually a lot of it came from the influence in Liverpool. And out of that came a very good man who played ukulele as well. He gave up his cleaning, window cleaning round and was so good. But anyway, on a more serious note, this is a. Uh, um, this is a real advertisement for a Negro lady who was up for sale. How much is she? <laughs> she was about 22 years old and she was. it says on here that she was good to work, she could do farm work, she could do housework. But it also says that she has a child about nine months old, but that child would be at the purchaser's option. And this song is about how this young lady was abused by her boss and she got pregnant and she had a baby. And um, really and truly, she didn't, doesn't know if that baby's going to be her. She doesn't know if she'll get sold without the baby. And it's just called The Purchaser's Option, which I just thought was so tragic. But um, it's a really meaningful song. Yeah, it's actually by a lady called Rhiannon Giddens. And if you're into sort of black history, um, it's a really, really interesting lady to follow.
because it's all new stuff for us. So. And she's a young lady that won the BBC Two Folk Musician of the Year and writes her own songs, and so we've got um, lots to look forward to. Yeah. We're just going to do um, a quick Leonard Cohen song. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you what it's really about, because we, for years we played it as um, a love song, as a beautiful romantic love song, and then I found out the real meaning. <clears throat> I'll tell you after. <laughs> Dance me to your beauty with a burning violin And dance me through the panic till I'm gathered safely in And lift me like an olive branch and be my homeward dove And I said now dance me to the end of your love Well I said now dance me to the end of your love and dance me to your beauty oh and the witnesses are gone and dance me through the curtains I bet they do in Babylon and show me slowly that I only I know the limits of and I said no oh, dance me dance me to the end of your love well I said the end of your love.
you very, very much. he does say that he wants it to be a song of passion and of love but it was actually written as a tribute to the musicians who were in prison of war camps and um, they were made to play their music to hide the screams of their fellow prisoners and that's why you've got to speak to the beauty of the violin and the children that would never be born but he was very adamant in his biography that he wanted it to be a song of passion so that's what we did thank you Travellers for a great set. We'll have a great uh, yeah. And then Maddie Morris will be off. So, accepting all that, pop up if possible, please. Pop up, pop up.